Guyana enacts sweeping aviation law changes amid growing security concerns. In a late-night session on Friday, Guyana's 65-seat legislature passed significant amendments to the country's aviation law, citing the imperative for national security and public safety. Among the key revisions is the authorization for authorities to intercept aircraft flying illegally over Guyana's territory and the establishment of a no-fly zones to regulate or prohibit aircraft from other countries flying over specified areas. Minister Wanage Hill, responsible for overseeing the aviation sector, emphasized the necessity of these provisions for future readiness, without explicitly referencing any specific country or situation. However, recent actions by Venezuela, including moves to annex the Essequibo region, have heightened concerns over territorial integrity. Guyana has been strengthening defense cooperation with allies, including the United States, evidenced by the recent overflight of Georgetown by U.S. Navy aircraft as part of routine security operations. The comprehensive amendments proposed by Edge Hill to the 2018 aviation law were consolidated into the new Civil Aviation Amendment Bill 2024 and unanimously approved by the National Assembly, showcasing rare bipartisan unity. President Irfan Ali is anticipated to sign the changes into law promptly, with Edge Hill slated to outline the regulations in detail as early as next week. So, what are the key provisions of the new bill? The bill mandates that pilots of aircraft flying over Guyana must adhere to marshalling signals, interception orders, or maneuvers directed by Guyanese authorities, in accordance with the Chicago Convention, an international agreement governing airspace rules and aircraft safety. Additionally, Guyana reserves the right to designate restricted or no-fly zones over specific areas of its territory, akin to established practices in other nations. Non-compliance with interception orders could result in fines of $5 million or imprisonment for up to five years. However, the bill allows for defense in court if the pilot in command can demonstrate a reasonable belief that compliance would endanger the safety of the aircraft or persons on board. These legislative changes coincide with Guyana's preparations for an upcoming audit by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, underscoring the nation's commitment to enhancing aviation safety and security.